Hello everybody, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 257. I'm helping a couple of groups pull build charges data out of their practice management system, apply a prior year's Medicare RVU calculation, and get compensation data. If it would help you to automate that process, pull data out of your PM system and do some compensation analysis, let's talk. What we're going to do today is start on an idea that's over here called fill. You can fill down, fill right, fill up, fill left. What I want to start with is what does it mean to fill and you can do things like click here and do fill right and it'll copy the data over or something like that. But we can do one better than, or one better is a little strong. I, I think this shortcut's better. How's that? I'm going to take this away and say if I wanted to fill January, I can fill down simply by left click and dragging down. We'll do a year that way. Or I can drag up and go prior months. I can do the same both left and right. See how that works? It's simply a matter of clicking the cell you want to use as a pattern, if you will. And then there we go. See how my cursor changes to that crosshair from this white plus to that crosshair? As soon as it's the crosshair, I can drag and create a bunch of different things. Let me undo my way out of here. Let's make this Monday instead. If I do Monday, same kind of thing. I can go back this direction. I can go forward and back. Same kind of thing happens if I do... Now notice I, this isn't a formula. There, there aren't formulas here. If I change this, none of this changes until I do this. But see the abbreviation for Monday works and on and things like that. So dates work uh, like months and days and things like that. Uh, another thing that works if we kill all this is numbers. But if you just have the number one, Excel doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to get ones like crazy. So there are a couple ways to get around that and we'll talk about that next time. What I want to do next time is say, all right, now that I have a one here, how do I show it a pattern? What if I want, Jan what if I want January and then April and then July, say the first month of every quarter? Can I do something like that? You bet I can. And I want to show you how to make these series work, how to teach Excel patterns, and how to take this idea of copying stuff this way and that way to the next level. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.